Hello YouTube and welcome back into my shop. Today I have a real treat for you. I am going to show you how to make my awesome pen blank sizing jig. This thing will cut the exact size pen blank for whatever tube you're using every single time without effort. All you do is loosen this, slide the mechanism back, put the tube in, tighten it up, and then this jig is set back the exact amount that you want to have your pen blank oversized for the tube. So I'm going to show you how to make that. All you need to make it is a scrap piece of half inch plywood or MDF, a runner for your table saw or band saw, I got a T-nut, a little knob, and a quarter twenty bolt. That's it, and some glue. You're going to need glue. So uh, let's get started and make this. This is one of the, my favorite jigs that I made. It works so nice. Everyone that sees it is like, oh, you got to make me one, you got to make me one. Well, now I don't have to make anybody one. Watch the video. Here we go. inches so half a three and a half is one and three quarters one and three quarters okay so I have my center line drawn out it's a quarter of an inch wide um, and I came in an inch and a half on each end and I'm just going to drill some holes with a 5 16 bit so it's a little bit bigger than the quarter of an inch bolt Okay, so now we'll just go to the router and route out that section. Okay, so I've got a quarter inch upcut spiral bit in here. Uh, I'm just going to drop that onto my hole and hold the cutter to one side. Bring my fence up. Bring it down to the other hole just to double check. I'm going to adjust this so I take a couple passes. I should have known, but uh, CA glue doesn't work with MDF. So I got this glue back up with some glue, and I'm going to take this piece that I just routed, and this piece here, which is inch and a half, and I'm going to glue that right onto this piece, like this. Maybe we could play on the lathe. Let's do that. Okay, so the glue's dried. I got two pieces that look almost identical, um, and one with the hole rounded out of it. So this piece is a little higher, so I'm just going to trim that down and make that flush. Okay, so I also need to make a spot for the T-nut to go into, so I'm just going to measure up four inches from the end and make a mark with my pencil. Okay, so over at the drill press, I got a 7 8 phosphor bit that I'm going to put in here, and I'm just going to go down just a little bit just to recess this into the wood. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna file that hole down through with a 5 16 bit. That's what fits mine. If you use a different T-nut, you might need different sizes, but. For the quarter 20 T-nut I got, that's what I'm using. Okay, so I'm just going to pound that in. We got to cut this spacer, so right now this is a full length piece, so we're just going to cut that piece off and glue it back in. And the distance, I'm just going to go back two inches, it's a nice and even number. Okay, so this block just needs to get glued back on from here. So we're going to sit this up the, the half inch thickness that the MDF is so that it sits flush. Alright, and I'm going to leave this thing in here with just a gap on it so that it doesn't slip down while the glue's drying. Okay, the glue's all set on these pieces. So I got one piece that looks like this. One piece that looks like this. We got our T-nut in here. Okay, so on the miter saw, I'm just gonna fit these together nice and tight, and I'm gonna cut it flush on the end. And now I'm gonna take these apart, and I'm gonna cut uh, about an eighth of an inch off of the end, and that'll give me a sixteenth on either side of my pen blank. So now we put these two together, you see that it's short, that eighth of an inch. So that eighth of an inch is how much longer our pen blank will end up being than our tube. Okay, so if I measure from the blade to the miter slot, I have three and five sixteenths, so I'm just going to transfer that measurement over to my jig and attach the runner. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to take that little knob that I made yesterday on the lathe while I was waiting for glue to dry. I'm going to measure over about three and a half inches. And I'm going to put a little mark. Okay, so I got the hole drilled. I'm just going to push my little knob in. That fits tight enough, so I'm not even going to bother using glue. I just need a little knob to move it, slide it back and forth. Okay, so everything's all dry finally. Um, I trimmed off the excess of my runner. So now to put this together, all we do is take this piece, slide this piece in. And you can see how I'm short on this side, and that'll give me the extra length I need. And I got a little knob here just to set it and that's it so to use it we just slide it get a tube from the blank that we want to use tighten that up grab a pen blank of your choice and when you square that up you can just cut it flush on the bandsaw let's go see how that works okay so like I said before we just put the pen blank in that we're going to use Slide that up till it stops. Tighten it down so it doesn't move. We put our pen blank in. Give it a little cut. And now the pen blank is the perfect length. I got a perfect amount of excess on both sides for when I use the barrel trimmer to get it everything squared up.
perfect fit every time. So as you guys can see, this is a super simple jig. It works awesome. I use it all the time. Never failed me once. Besides waiting for all the glue to dry, it was super simple to make with just scraps. Now we just wait for the glue to dry.